For Lula Dembele, this plan is personal. It is time to transform our pain into action. And there can be no more excuses. That it is too hard. We don't know what to do. That it is too complex. Speaking at the unveiling of a new strategy aimed at ending all violence against women and children within a generation. We don't want our children and our children's children to be dealing with the same issues. All state and territory governments have signed off on the plan. Our ambition should be to eliminate all forms of family, domestic and sexual violence. The 10-year blueprint outlines the need for investment in four key areas. Prevention to change community attitudes, early intervention to stop violence from escalating, response to build the frontline workforce to respond in a crisis and recovery and healing to better support victims in the long term. For Yorta Yorta woman Amanda Morgan, that final element is crucial. We need to listen to children and recognise uh, trauma. And she's optimistic because the voices of survivors like her are being heard. I feel like this national plan will be an anchor for hope. While broadly welcomed, the plan still lacks specific targets and additional funding. We will only achieve this if it translates to meaningful action. You can't have a really important plan with zero dollars attached to it and expect it to succeed. The government says more detailed action plans are in the works, including one to address the disproportionately high rates of violence against Indigenous women and children. Nor Haider, ABC News, Canberra.